In today's video, we're taking a bit more of a chill approach. We have three stories that I would like to read to you guys, some of them being absolutely ridiculous and some that are pretty sad, I can't lie. Without further ado, sit back, enjoy the GTA 5 gameplay to keep everyone occupied and let's get in today's video. Starting with, I accidentally killed an altar. Oh no, that's not good guys. The story says, I was in a server with a lot of people claiming to have DID and I remembered that I had proof to fake claim something like 90% of the active member. I am French, so in my language, when we went to say, oh, we say, ah, and there is a common joke which consists in saying b to someone who says ah because b comes after a i'm following along so far i did this joke to an altar who has said ah and he began to say my joke was outrageous and that he will kill himself etc obviously this person was faking and an hour later after an altar of the same system came and said that the altar that i did the joke to was dead no! For any people out there that actually have DID, and I know there is some in the comment section down below, can you tell me, is that how it works? <laughs> oh man, someone killed an altar, that's not good. In their inner world, and that he will never come back because I made a joke. Honestly, I mean, it's 2023, you're not allowed to be making jokes anymore. What, are you crazy? My dad was called a slur by a faker, but it's okay because they reclaimed it. I tend to see a very strong pattern in fakers using the reclaim slurs for their disabilities and never see actual disabled people use them. And that's probably for the reason that they're just not nice. I understand the importance of reclaiming a word that was once used to bully, harass, and discriminate a group of people and claim it as your own as a way to have the upper hand. But I feel as if a lot of fakers use it as a fun part of their vocabulary, when in reality, a lot of people aren't comfortable with it. An example of this happening was, was out with my dad. I do have to mention that my dad is a wheelchair user and he can't walk. I will spare the rest of the details since they are not relevant to the story. My dad doesn't get out the house much, but this one time we were shopping for his other half's birthday present and he was in his wheelchair. He is very self-conscious about it as he used to be a very active man. He doesn't talk about how things are and we don't talk about it around him and that's how things have always been. However, it was a weekend so obviously students from the nearest school were out and about doing whatever they do in town and a young person about 13 and 14 particularly stood out to me a few times and since our town is small, I saw them more than once once on our trip. Shaved head, very colorful overalls, and a rainbow colored shirt. Oh god guys, I see where this is going. And they were pushing on a walker or a rollator, depending on where you are from. Was intensely decorated in flashing fairy lights, rainbows, colorful tape, plastic flowers. It seemed very inconvenient to use with everything on it. Doesn't matter guys, as long as it looks nice who cares right my sister has had problems with this person since her first year at school saying that they have a new mental illness every week oh, this is really starting to sound like one of those tiktokers and now they've got pots sounds like one specific person on tiktok holy sh out of nowhere too they seemed very overly interested in my dad every time we cross paths they would stare or nudge their friends and point. It's not uncommon to see a person in a wheelchair where I live. The population is mostly elderly people and it's a very accessible town for that reason. So I thought it was odd considering we'd never had an issue with anyone before. My dad had noticed too and he had seemed eager to leave. But as we were about to leave the area, they came up to us as if to casually walk past and points and smiles and shouts, hey, cripple twins. I don't know what they were trying to achieve, whether it be a laugh or an exchange in a lighthearted joke, but my dad was very clearly upset about it. We ended up leaving and ordering something for his other half instead. He never said anything about the comments, nor did he mention it to his other half. I can tell his confidence has been shook because even though he's a difficult man to read, 
I think it's a dad thing. I could tell that he was quite hurt by the comments and was unusually quiet for the rest of the day. I did mention it to my sister just because that person seems to be getting worse with the faking by the minute and advised her to just avoid them. And she said that they use words like that a lot. And then when they get told by teaching stuff to turn it down with the language they use in class, it's okay, I can reclaim it. I know they didn't mean to offend and they probably meant well in whatever way that may be, but I think words like that should just be left unsaid, even in a reclaiming way. And then they just mentioned saying, oh, if this post is violating rule five in any way, I won't be offended if it gets taken down. I did check with the moderator in the Discord channel and he tried to keep it as relevant as possible. Which I don't know, if you want to use those words on your own terms with a bunch of people that are okay and you know are okay with using those terms, sure, who really has a problem? But I feel like in this story, it's very much not like that why the hell would you go up to some random person that you have quite literally never met and say something like that you don't know how it makes them feel you don't know how soon that they've been in a wheelchair for especially if you're considering now that they suddenly have pots out of nowhere they're obviously doing this for attention and to be quite honest just really shouldn't be using those words as a whole let me know what you guys think about this story in the comments down below as it's one of the more serious ones in which i'm sure a lot of you will probably have a few more issues with and again that's just completely understandable now for our final story. Had a faker tried to convince me I had DID? I feel like we've had this one quite a few times, guys. I don't know what it is about these fakers. Uh, they almost like to drag anyone else down with them that they possibly can. They try to like to convince people, other people, that they also have DID when they are not an expert and they have no idea and they don't even know if whether or not they have DID and probably the information that they've probably got is from TikTok so they're absolutely clueless but this story reads and says like any normal person my personality seems different based on the kind of people I'm around. I had a friend of mine who is also a DID faker just not on TikTok insist that I had associate identity disorder because of this she has also gone around telling everybody that I have multiple personalities when I don't be because at work, I'm usually overly polite and kind of a kiss ass. Might seem a little stressed out or twitchy. Always eager to help out in whatever way I can. That's also one of the most important things I would like to just add on to. It seems like a lot of these people really mistake having different emotions with different personalities. It is perfectly normal to have maybe one amazing week in which you feel great, happy, and then having another week in which you feel stressed, tired, lethargic, like that's normal. That is literally just life. That doesn't then mean you have two different personalities. You're allowed to have different emotions. In college classes, I'm very focused, a workaholic, and I don't really talk much. I usually look tired. I've been told I come off as shy. Around close friends I trust, of which I don't have many, I'm warm and energetic. I don't go from being the shy guy to being goofy hooligan who always dares to be stupid. I'm completely off the wall and make everything into a joke and have fun. I'd say this is who I am when I'm the most relaxed and confident. I'm not completely tired out by everything around friends I see on a regular basis, but don't really consider part of my inner circle. I'm chatty and somewhat friendly, but definitely not as open and might seem nervous or on guard. Again, this is pretty reasonable behavior. This does not mean you have multiple personality disorder. So yeah, this person's spot on. At least some people can actually recognize the fact that you act different. I take ages personally to like warm up to new people. I'm quite a shy person when meeting new people. I'm probably awkward as fuck as well. <laughs> I can't even lie. But yeah, like once I know people for like if you know, quite a while. Absolutely. I think this rings true for probably a lot of people watching this video as well. Around the dude, my ass has a thing for. I'm cheerful but shy despite typically being a well-spoken person. I get so flustered that everything I say or do comes out wrong and I forget stuff and I'm sort of clumsy. Just sounds like me whenever I can meet <laughs> new people, bro. Around total strangers, I'm very tense. I typically don't talk much to them unless absolutely necessary and it's pretty obvious that I'm uncomfortable. At home, I'm just plain weird because no one's watching me and I just do whatever the hell I want to do. Mostly, this is just me lazying around in my sweatpants watching TV and have a low tolerance for bullshit. 
it and just want to be left alone to relax. Now, these are all I see myself as just one person. My personality just happens to come off a bit different based on the environment, but it's the same guy. However, said gal I mentioned in the first paragraph is a DID faker herself. And after seeing how different I act around people, I know and I'm comfortable with various people I don't know and I'm uncomfortable with, he's convinced I have dissociated identity disorder. She has even gone around naming the so-called different personalities. Oh God, Jesus. You know, it's bad when they start naming them. <laughs> They're not even hers. All these people are fake. I, they definitely have something else. It's not multiple personality disorder, but they definitely got something, man. <laughs> Who does that? That is weird. She calls my work face Vincent. She says that Vincent is a gender... <laughs> non-forming lesbian who uses his pronouns, wears man's clothes, and uses a man's name because she's just super butch. She says Vincent is the core, and I think this is because at work, I'm everyone's I do whatever they say because as a customer service representative, that's kind of my job to be a kiss ass. Yeah. <laughs> Vincent is the only one she actually likes. Yeah, I wonder why, hey, fucking narcissistic. I only like the one that I can push around. I don't like it when you talk back to me. Yeah, geez, that's not a good sign. She calls a close friend me, Draven. Draven is a trans man and age assigned at 18. Completely gay, probably a whore. Because all extroverts are who can't keep in their pants and very immature. She hates him. Draven as a sexual alter. She calls the person I am going around strangers, Sarah. Says Sarah is a age resigned about six and just a little girl, she says. Sarah is a little and also fragmented. Oh my God. This is, if you have a friend like actually straight up, this is so alien to me and so weird. I'm just saying, if you have a friend that is literally going in to this much detail, there is something very wrong with them. It says around the guy I like, I'm Lydia, a sexually unappealing hetero woman pushing 50, who doesn't realize she's over the hill. It isn't very smart. She has chastised me for flirting with the guy because even though biologically I'm only two years older than him, we are both over 21. She says, ew, Lydia is an old lady so creepy says lydia is supposed to be a caretaker who doesn't do her job right Ewy. now guys hear me out if your best friend is now identifying you as someone way older you haven't asked to and now they're quite literally being like Ewy, you can't be interested in that person you're way too old when you're generally only in your 20s <laughs> this is this is weird she calls college me xeron Zeron, guys, sounds like a James Bond villain. Zeron is a generalist male presenting android and also a genius. Zeron is a sexual automatic and autistic. She said that he's the gatekeeper. <sighs> she has given a female persona to who I am around my family. Says her name is Troy and he's a butch lesbian who doesn't like anybody. She calls Troy a protector. Oh man, this is getting weirder. I, I didn't actually think it was feasible for it to get any weirder, but it actually has. Cause the me I am around my not so close friends is a bi man named Giles, who is also a different race than me for some reason. He's lesbian as an ANP. And finally, she has called the at home me, Jesse. She says that Jesse is a typically muscular, straight cis man. She does not like Jesse and says that he is a protector. But yes, an old female roommate of mine who was a DID faker cannot comprehend that I act different around different people and in different situations at the end of the day. It's all me. I just tend to act very different around people I am comfortable with versus people I am not comfortable with. And it all varies depending on how much energy I have that given day. It's literally just all Eric always has been. Wow, guys, what an absolute wild one. I totally agree. Going back on my earlier statement of just saying, guys, look, I know there's probably a lot of uh, impressionable people even watching my videos. It's completely normal to act like this. I'm in my 20s, bro, and I still act like this. You can be in your 50s and act different, bro. Like, this is just life. People really act different from the day before and then really want to give it a whole different name and personality. People that do that are just being way too extra and obviously just have way too much free time. It's not that deep. And like I said, 
said, perfectly normal to have days in which you act different. Some days I can be very confident and outgoing. Other days I'm more shy and certain things can really play an effect in that for me. For example, if it's like a horrible rainy day, I feel like I don't feel as happy. But when the sun is shining and I've gone to the gym and I've got all my work done, bruh, I feel absolutely amazing. There's a lot of things to factor in play, but at the end of the day, guys, it is perfectly normal. I'm sure most people know that, but for those of you that are definitely wondering about this and are unsure, don't worry, it is normal. But anyway, boys and girls, hope you enjoy this story time. I know you guys enjoy the more chill types of videos. If you did, make sure to please hit the like button and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.